All right, there's another nice red squirrel. What I uh, want to do is do a video on making a bowstring using squirrel rawhide. So we'll uh, take this one and a couple more and start making a video. Now we finished up with three. Saw a couple more, but couldn't get on. The leaves are pretty dry, so it was kind of hard to sneak up on them. But what we're going to do is take the hair off, and we're just going to stretch them, make rawhide, and then we'll cut it into uh, strips, circular strips. Uh, dampen that down. At once it's dry, then we'll redampen it, and then uh, stretch it and twist it. We're going to make a three ply uh, bowstring. So we'll get on that. All right, we're ready to clean the squirrels. Well, how we're going to clean those, we're just going to clean them what's called uh, open or flat style. That's where you go up the belly and peel off the skin. That way you can uh, dry the skin flat. But we'll go ahead and skin these and uh, show what it looks like. All right, here's the three squirrel hides. Uh, you can make the strings you can leave the the hair on I mean that's also another way to make it uh, for the bowstring that we're gonna make we're gonna go ahead and take the uh, hair off so at this point we're gonna go ahead and mix up a little wood ash and we'll take and mix the word at wood ash into the hair side of course we'll take the tail off but we'll mix the wood ash into the hair side and then after a day or day or two the hair will start slipping off and we'll go ahead and Take the hair off, wash them up good in some water, and then go ahead and stretch them and, and dry them. Now this is intermission time. Just for you folks who are wondering where the rest of the squirrel went. I turned my back and he jumped in the frying pan. So I'm going to fry these up good and crispy. Then we'll put them over in the kettle and boil them good until the meat falls off the bones. And add a few dumplings and mm, some. Anyway, we'll get back to the making the bowstring. All right, we've got some just some hardwood ashes. That's all this is. Got a bowl with a little water. We're going to mix up a little uh, wood ash paste to, to put in there. It's going to soak in there pretty good. I'm gonna try to make a not a not a super thick paste, but enough that it'll it'll stick to the the hair pretty good. And get just a little bit more. There we go. You see, we got that mixed up pretty good. That's still just a little, it might make it a little bit thicker than that, but that's not going to hurt. Now we'll just take our squirrel skins and lay them out and we'll just, just work that into the skin, is all we're going to do. There we go. That's all it takes. Now we're just to, we're going to fold fold all three of these up and put them back in a Ziploc bag to keep a little moisture in there and uh, start getting it working good. All right, there's the there's all three squirrels wrapped up. We just put them right back in the bag again. We're just going to let them set. Of course, the warmer it is, uh, the faster it's going to start working. So we'll probably just put these in the garage or in the house and. Uh, after a day or two, we'll check on them, see if the skin will start pulling, and then we'll get them, get the uh, hair pulled off and uh, get them stretched out. All right, we're going to check our hides to see if they're ready to start taking the skin off, and we can take that just by, with your fingers, you can 
you can see it's starting to come off so we're going to go ahead and we use a clamshell we'll just go ahead and start scraping this one and show you what it looks like all right we've got the majority of the the hair off the skin like I say you don't have to be perfect uh, the main part of the skin that you're going to be using is going to be right towards the middle of the back area anyway but now all we we'll do, we're just going to take this and put it in a tub of water and wash this down and you can kind of spot what's where you still might have some areas that you haven't got. And you just want to wash it, wash it real good, wash as much of that wood ash off as you can. And you can see we got a got a pretty good hide. So at this point, we're ready to uh, we'll clean up a little bit more here, a few little spots. But like I said, that's not going to hurt. You got a little hair left on there. It's just going to twist in with the string. It'll just look good. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and finish the other ones, and then we'll start tacking them to a board. Something else that you need to do is uh, on the skin side, inside of the squirrel, is just by using the knife. You just want to flush it good to make sure that you get all the obvious pieces of fat, if there's any fat, and or uh, pieces of meat. You just use the flat side of the blade. Don't use the, don't cut into it, but just you're pushing straight on. You just work that skin over, work it over good. And you wash that off and, and uh, it'll turn a nice, uh, nice white color. Okay, now we're just tacking it on a piece of plywood. The main part that you want to stretch, I mean that you want to stretch so you get the best use out of it. When this gets done drying, we're going to use kind of an oval shave. You want to use as much of this as we can. So you want to stretch it as far as you can, but the main bulk of it's going to be in the, the lower back area. So that's what you want to uh, stretch it out so it'll dry. And then they'll get all three of these stretched out. We'll just we'll let them dry good for two or three, four days. We want them real good and dry before we start uh, cutting them into shape. I thought I'd touch on something real quick. Even though that this bowstring is being made out of squirrel rawhide, there's multiple different types of rawhide and you may wonder how thick should you cut the strips when you make the each ply well it kind of depends on the bow the pound test bow that you're that you're using uh, that's what's going to determine it the bow that I'm making this bowstring for as you can see is it's just a straight stave long bow it's not a recurve it's not reflex deflex it's just just a straight long bow. The bow weight it's 45 pounds at 28 inches and what you want to do at 15 inches you want to measure what the pound pole is and my bow pulls roughly 18 pounds at 15 inches. So using that 15 inch measurement you got 18 pounds multiply that by 10 and that'll give you what your string weight should be which in this case uh, is 180 pounds. So now you come up with different ply combinations for that 180 pounds uh, bowstring. You can go with just three plies of 60 pound all the way down to seven plies of say 26 pound rawhide. And now that's going to get us back down to how wide should our rawhide uh, strips be. Well, you don't know. You're going to have to practice. So what I've got is an extra squirrel hide. This is one that I um, dehaired and worked on uh, earlier. And what I'm going to do with this one now is we're going to cut some test pieces. I'm going to cut each one roughly two feet long and I'll do I'll probably set up one piece I'll cut it uh, a strip eighth of an inch wide uh, another one maybe a quarter of an inch uh, three-eighths and a half inch 
I cut uh, four pieces of uh, the squirrel rawhide, uh, four different dimensions, and then we'll soak them, roll them, or twist them, sorry, twist them, and let those dry. And then we're going to see what pound it takes, or, or, or at what poundage it will break at when I try and break them. And that poundage of what it breaks at, that is going to be this value that's going to give you here. And actually, and actually you want to probably err a little bit uh, on the high side. So, All right, here's our test strip. We got the one-eighth, uh, one-quarter, three-eighths, and one-half. I got, uh, got them marked with a sharpie just showing the eighth. This is four-eighths, which would be one-half. So we got uh, our four test pieces. So now we'll soak these, get them good and soft, and we'll twist them, stretch them, and let those dry. And then we'll put them in a, a brake test to see... Uh, at uh, what poundage it, uh, they'll break at.